Hey guys, Gary from Unfrequented World. Today I want to look at this really cool adapter from Sony, the LAEA5. I just got my hands on this, and what it's going to allow Gary to do is use his old, but expensive, really high-end gear that require mechanical focus systems, okay? So for the old uh, Sony A99, A77, those cameras, this is a 300 2.8 lens. Very good, very heavy, very expensive lens, and I don't use it because it doesn't really work on my E-mount cameras. Well, this LAEA5 is going to change that, or so I hope. Let's check it out. Let's just take a look at what this uh, focusing system will do on this old mechanical lens. Not bad. Not as fast as new E-mount glass, that's for sure but it is using the whole screen for focus points now. Before we only had nine focus points and they were all grouped right in the middle. So if we wanted to use these old mechanical lenses, now I can actually touch the screen and it will focus wherever I touch. Absolutely amazing. It's gonna breathe new life into some of Gary's old gear. And I'll tell you, to purchase a lens like this, okay, this was a 30 year old lens when I bought it. A 300 2.8, I paid $800 for that lens. If you buy the new Sony version, which goes with the E-mount, you're looking at like $6,000 Canadian. Who can afford that? Not this guy. So I'm happy to be able to use some of my old screw drive lenses with this new LAEA5. Let's take it out in the field and see what kind of photos we can get. I want to shoot it wide open, f2.8. That's why you buy a big lens like this that's 2.8, not to stop it down. So let's see if we can get some cool photos at 2.8 using the new adapter. Is to actually test the autofocus on something moving. That lens, the 300 2.8, is made for sports. So, Gage is going to help me. I'm going to let my dog out. Uh, I've lowered the tripod to the ground. We're going to fire this out in the backyard for him. And I'm just going to see, do we get any shots, uh, you know, in focus? How is the autofocus working with this adapter? I guess that is an important test. Even though I would only use this lens for fun, how does it actually focus? Okay, you ready to help me with this test or what? Okay, yeah, in a second. I gotta check the camera. And then, <laughs> jeez. He's ready, the camera's ready. Let's do this. Dude, you're not moving. Okay, bring it here, we'll do it a few times. Yeah, so I gotta say guys, it's pretty abysmal. Pretty abysmal, like one or two shots out of 10 is all I'm getting. And I wouldn't say none of them are the quality of like a, an E-mount, you know, 7200, 7300. Like, ah, it's just not doing it. It's just not doing it. So for fast moving subjects, the LAEA5 on an old screw mount, frick, guys, I don't know, I wouldn't recommend it for that. If you just want to use your lenses and have fun, like the 70, uh, sorry, the 300 f2.8 here, it has a nice bokeh. The background blur is something that you can't get unless you own a 300 millimeter f2.8. I can still shoot very well in manual focus with that. I would probably get more shots in focus, manually focusing on the dog than I would with the autofocus. Um, it's just the way my findings with this LAEA5. So is it really something you can live without? Absolutely. You know what? <laughs> Take the 300 bucks and invest that into, uh, you know, a 7200 or 7300 E-mount. You're gonna get a lot better autofocus. Um, they're, they're decent lenses too. Yeah, they're gonna cost a lot much 
more money than in a, you know buying an old uh, Minolta F4 beer can but it's gonna work a lot better and you're not gonna have to fix your images up in post either so it really at this point in time in 2021 I don't know why Sony came out with this adapter for for an old fart like me that has 40 lenses that are screw drive yeah it's fun to play with them again and say hey I haven't used that in a long time but other than that guys it's not really worth it if you don't own screw mount lenses already it's not worth it so I do own the LAEA3 and I do own the LAEA4 okay so the 3 is uh, used with my 15600 uh, Tamron zoom lens most of the time and it works fantastic this LAEA5 works the same as the LAEA3 adapter on lenses that have a motor already put in them so Sigma HSM uh, motors Sony motors uh, Tamron, PZO motors, all of those will still work uh, with LAEA3 or 5. And I don't notice any focusing difference. A couple of guys online reported that the LAEA5 was faster, but not in my testing, guys. I've got a bunch of lenses here, and I would say it's the exact same. I've tested about 20 old lenses, um, screw drive, uh, and lenses that have motors in them. I didn't notice any difference. All right, I'm gonna sum this up, guys. There are four benefits to this LAEA5 adapter, okay? And they only apply to screw drive lenses. So if you have uh, lenses with motors in them, the LAEA3 will do the same thing as this one. This does not focus any faster, there's no difference. Here are the four things you will benefit from, okay? No micro focus adjust with your old lenses. Just put the adapter on and it will focus perfectly, okay? There's no adjustments. The second benefit is there is no mirror in the LAEA5. So uh, you lose about a third of a stop of light when you're using the LAEA4. That uh, adapter is also for screw mount lenses, okay? So that's a benefit here, no mirror in there. The third benefit is you can do touch screen focus. So you can touch your screen and now you will focus anywhere on the screen with screw drive lenses. And the last one is you get the full However many uh, phase detection autofocus points your camera has, your screw drive uh, mount lens will now use the full 400, 300, whatever you have, whatever camera you're using, will use the full screen. Okay, guys, those are the four benefits of the LAEA5. As an afterthought, we're just under the camera here. The LAEA5 doesn't have that annoying little, there's a bracket on the LAE, LAEA3 which has a tripod mount on it, but it, it sticks out lower than the bottom of the camera. This one doesn't have it, so that's actually a bonus as well. If you just want to screw around with the LAEA5 adapter just for fun, then that is the only way I can recommend it, is if you have a bunch of screw drive lenses and you just want to get them off the shelf and use them and say, hey, this was a great lens, I enjoyed using it 20 years ago, 10 years ago, uh, you can now do that again. Would I recommend purchasing this adapter if you don't have screw drive lenses? No, I couldn't. So we've just been screwing around with the LAEA5 Sony adapter for screw mount lenses. And I want to add a couple things that I may not have mentioned earlier in the review, okay? Sony dropped the ball on this because it only works with screw drive lenses on the A7R4 and the A6600. I have the A6600 here. So on all my telephoto lenses, that's great. It's fine, right? You're going to have that APS-C. If you have 100 millimeters, you're going to end up with 150 millimeter field of view, okay? So you're going to get that 1.5 times crop factor. So that's fine for telephoto lenses. But I have a beautiful Minolta 35 f1.4 that I've been itching to use forever. And it's a screw drive lens and it will not work because now it's a 50 1.4 on this camera. Well, I don't want a 50 1.4, I want a 35 Sony. So Sony needs to come out with a firmware update for the a7R3, the a7 III, the a7C. All of those cameras, they don't support this LAEA5. So I'm not sure what Sony was thinking there. Kind of dropped the ball. So I kind of made it sound like the LAEA5 was not a good purchase, but really guys, I've had a lot of fun playing with like the old 300 F4, some really old Minolta stuff like this 35105 screw drive, fantastic stuff. Then I got a couple really nice old gems, the 200 down here, 
We've got the 135 right here. Tiny little F2.8 lenses. If you own anything like that, guys, and you want to use it, your only option is the Sony LA-EA5. Other than doing the Gary option, which is never sell your A77 II and never sell your A99. That way you always have a couple of cameras that can use those fantastic old screw drive lenses.